hate that girl. <laughs> I hate her. I hate her. I wish somebody would make a diss record against her ass. I think I'm a, I'm about to write a diss. I don't like that bitch. I don't, I don't like her at all. Like she be single handedly playing in y'all face. And I said to myself, who who the fuck is her fan base? This is why I hate when y'all listen to her music. Like y'all keep saying like, yeah, man. But the beat hit. I don't give a fuck how much the motherfucking hit. Let me tell you something. Every time I hear that bitch in my motherfucking car, I turn her shit off because I know she detrimental to the black community. I know she motherfucking influencing young girls to pop they pussy open for a baby. I know that I know that's what that bitch doing. And in the same breath, she's influencing these young girls to be ratchet, nasty, and trifling. And then she's telling y'all that y'all got carpet hair. So not only is she's influencing y'all to do that, but she's also insulting y'all at the same time. I hate that bitch. I promise you. That. Mm -hmm. I hate the fact that social media make everybody famous. I hate this. That's why every time I see one of my sisters going in on that bitch, I repost, repost, share, like, comment as much as I motherfucking can. As much as I can. If y'all women up here got younger girls, okay, and within their teenage years, please talk to your girls. Please talk to your teenagers about this bitch. Make sure you tell them that this is not the way to go because that's her fan base. Because everybody that I talk to don't really like her. So I be trying to figure out who who is her fan base. It's these younger girls. It's these younger girls with fan base. She is going to tear y'all daughter's self-esteem down. Keep fucking letting your daughter listen to this. I'm going to say some crazy shit. Keep letting your daughter listen to this bitch and see what happens. She gonna tear yourself. She gonna tear your daughter's self-esteem down piece by piece. Sexy red is making a mockery out of black girl's hair and saying it looks like carpet and saying that it's unattractive, along with turning your daughter into whores. I hate this bitch with everything in me. Hey, for the culture, man. Bro, she oh, went in so oh, hard. Oh, I watched her like three four times. I love in. the way she. Oh, the I love her delivery in this post. Like I literally watched it so many times because I love the fact that it was just raw and uncut. And people in the comments love to say, "Sexy Red is just the same thing as Trina and Little Kim and all the others that we had in our generation." Lies. No, Those women no. were not rapping about chlamydia. And having lip gloss named after STDs, that is all lies. Our our generation's ratchets of women and women who are sexually provocative did not go to the degeneracy of the level, the highest level that Sexy Red is. It's all lies. They didn't do it. Nobody, you cannot compare Trina to her. You can't compare Little Kim to her. You can't compare Nicki Minaj to her. It, right. it, it doesn't stick. Y'all got to right. stop that. Even even with Trina, Trina Trina was pushing the five star chick. You know what I'm saying? Where it was like an empowerment for mm -hmm. women. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh no, we ain't fucking with no three stars, no four stars. We a five star. You know what I'm saying? And here here we have sexy red saying, oh no, we gonna share that dick. You know what I'm saying? Like like wow. come on, man. Like we the. the the part that blows me, like we we can invest as black people, we can invest so much energy into all this other shit, shit that just be insignificant. Don't don't even fucking matter, damn near. But yet we allow for sexy red to go out, be on the airways, be on the radio, and nobody says nothing, nobody protests. We don't, we don't do none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? How detrimental it is, what it is that she's doing and what's going to come after her. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there was a video on Facebook of this, of this chick. You know what I'm saying? She got the, uh, the eggplant joint on her shirt and she rapping like in the courtroom or something. Shit ratchet as hell. And this, what's going to happen is, is we're going to see an evolution of it getting worse you know what i'm saying and if we don't stop it but we need more we, honestly we we just simply need more black women to to stand up and say exactly what she's saying and go the extreme 
of where we cancel her. You know what I'm saying? We can cancel everybody else, but for whatever reason, we won't cancel Sexy Red. So, so y'all don't, today, uh, I don't like a little bit of ratchet at all. I mean, mm-hmm. of course, but it's a little bit of ratchet. It, she uh, of ratchet. We can't, so, we can't afford. I'm I'm on Instagram as culture, today. As I'm a on culture, Instagram, we cannot afford ratchet. That that's I'm that's, on Instagram, like just going off the deep end, and I end up on this guy's page, which is kind of exactly like um I don't know y'all I don't know if y'all follow that there's people mm-hmm. photographers and also journalists that are like doing highlighting street culture, kind of like the uh, white underbelly page on YouTube where they talk to like prostitutes, pimps, drug addicts, that type of thing. So I end up on this page that I've never seen on this guy who has a Detroit version of that. And he's highlighting Detroit drug users and prostitutes. I kid you not. I kid you not. A lot of the women, the prostitutes, crackheads, heroin addicts were literally acting the exact same way of sexy red. Like this guy was driving on the street, the woman bending over, popping her butt, twerking to as as the light turned, the random people, she was like gone out of her, like gone out of her mind, high as a kite, like half naked, missing teeth, all of that. But the behavior was exactly the same. It's exactly the same as um, a Sweetie, um, a Lotto, a Sexy Red, all of these artists that are being pushed into the forefront in 2024 as what's hot, what's cool. It's cool to just twerk to no music in the middle of the street for no reason. Crackheads are doing that. I'm a Drug it. addicts are doing that. Prostitutes are doing that to get jobs. We, used to, we used to laugh at people that did that shit. Right. Mm-hmm. You, they're, you was a they're, joke. They're doing that. So <laughs> I, I'm gonna keep it a bang. I had chills, y'all. I had, this was today. This was this morning. I, I shared it with my husband. I was like, I was like, I I just kept looking at the different clips because I'm like, this is how this is what's being pushed as was hot. This type of behavior. And it's crazy. These people are not in their right mind, but people in their right mind are doing it to make money. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a bang. If if Trina and fucking Lil Kim was 30 years younger, they'd be doing the same shit Sexy Red doing. They would be mm. doing the exact same thing. Hell, if social media existed back then, you would probably see some of the most ratchet because a lot of this shit is for attention. A lot of so like come on, like you mean to tell me the same woman that said you don't know nan ho that been the places I've been that spent the grants that I spent fucked about five or six best friends wouldn't but come she out not telling this. the people saying been that ass over like that coochie breeze. She would have said all that shit. She would have told the whole she would have done <laughs> she would have been just as ratchet and nasty as every other chick that's, that's right on the day. But that's true. Like you said, what you they want? just do what it for attention the though, because a lot of these artists that put out a lot of these songs, if they get asked in an interview like would you let your kids listen to your music or do you want your, your daughter to be a city girl? Would you want your daughter to be a city girl? All of them through the dough, like no, absolutely not. They making this music just for a dollar. And then on top it's of that, you got to think. And then on top of that, you got to think said. about it. They music really ain't selling. They social media is selling. None of their music is selling. Ain't nobody going to their concerts unless it's a group effort. They got to bring in like 17, 13, 18 artists to come in. Ain't nobody buying their music. So they all they got is their social media. They not oh, selling. No. Oh, you talking about sexy selling shows? Oh, no. Yeah. No. Sexy Red, Red selling, selling out shows, bro. Oh, no, sexy Red, Red is selling out. Who else on the team? She came, she came to t- Baton Rouge. She came to Baton Rouge, and people went to go see Sexy Red. I'm not even gonna lie. No, bro. And I'm New Orleans. Orleans. She came to New Orleans and Baton Rouge, and they came to see. Yeah, no, that 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 I I I feel I you you had me for a second, bro. But then it was like, no, nigga. No, no. Yeah, no, I see. Yeah. Yeah. No, and is she selling out, and is she selling out arenas, or is she selling out little venues? But that's no, a good she, no, it ain't no little arenas. Venues. No, arenas. No, she's she, not doing she, little she, venues. She's doing arenas. 
we have this conversation. Lotto, right even King Lotto Park. just Lotto just headlined um birthday bash in Atlanta. Like all of this, they, they not little time, little time small town artists, Sweeney. Like they're blowing up. People are yeah. buying tickets. Yeah, no, she she's getting pushed by Drake. You know what I'm saying? And Drake is arguably one of the biggest artists in the world. Not not the country, the world. So Shorty at this point, she's worldwide, you know what I'm saying? But again, the fact that that we, for whatever reason, you know, we we control, and I'll, I'll forever stand on this. Yeah, this Sweeney not listening no more. He trying to look up something. Yeah, he, he trying, trying to, to look up the numbers, and he, he trying to see <laughs> exactly. what venues. I already know uh -huh. what he doing. Yep, you know. But the, but the <laughs> fact that we again we control the culture we control who is being actually received and who is being pushed if we want Who's to we? somebody we we Who's as we? a whole we as a whole as black people is black culture fuck what white people do i, I know y'all love to say oh white people love white people is the biggest consumers of rap and all this so the fuck what who cares the fact is, is that we as black people, we control the culture worldwide. And the fact that we are not standing up as one. We Some people complain about Sexy Red. Some people blam, uh, play the shit low key in their house when ain't nobody looking in their car, whatever. The fact that we're not standing up as one against something that we can all acknowledge as, detri as being detrimental to our future, I, I think that that's a, that's a humongous problem. I feel like we have a lot of positive Black females in the culture, but you don't see a lot of kids emulating to try to be like them. Like You don't see them rushing to try to dress like Michelle Obama or want to be like a, a Aisha Curry or something like that. Like You see them- Rhapsody. Rhapsody. Yeah, Rhapsody, like these, you know, mm -hmm. positive yeah. rappers and positive musicians and stuff. Like, but it's just it. I mean, even you can't say it's not selling because they're everywhere. Like we know who they are just because. Yeah, album went double wood. But you just don't see them. You said what? <laughs> no, album went double wood, man. <laughs> win the Grammys. What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just saying, like we just don't. You don't see the kids, which is horrible because it's. Entertainment sales is just annoying, but it is what it is. Like it's not even just our culture; it's every culture. It's just like it's a thing, so we can cancel sexy, but then we have to cancel half of the rest of the artists too. Because so be it. About shooting, killing, everything, selling that's, drugs. I and that's what to my son about selling drugs too. It's not about just smacking your pussy on the floor. Like I want you to not be selling drugs either, or killing people over nothing and stuff. And a lot of the rappers that we're losing right now are rapping these type of things and getting shot over them. I, I ain't see no women yeah. getting stabbed up or smacking their pussy on the floor, but it's just like it's still annoying though. It's just an annoying thing that you just have to monitor in your own household to make mm -hmm. sure your kids aren't listening to it. And that's pretty much all you can do. But when they go outside, it's unfortunate. But I mean, I saw my niece doing a TikTok one day today, R. Kelly song that um that what? leg shaking thing. Remember when that trend was going on on TikTok and everybody was doing that little <laughs> leg shake shake thing? And I was just like, oh my God, like you can't. You can't stop it because it just pops up on their feed. It pops up on their their little TikToks and YouTube's. Like you, it's so almost unavoidable unless you just block them from society, which is impossible. I don't think we, we have enough. Yeah, but you know what? I think uh, role models as women, because you everybody always going back to Michelle Obama. Like um, she don't got no hot beat either, by the way. Um, so you know what I'm saying like there's no real women that we can just like yo I like the way she dressed I like the way she is Mary J Block back in the day that, that's the last time I remember looking up to a woman every every other woman has disappointed me so yeah we need a lot more positive role models and we have to be intentional about, intentional, intentional about pushing them out regardless whether the music executives want to or not what about like her and Coco Jones and Victoria Monet, like you know, there's a lot of yeah, like R and B people, maybe not so much rap people, but rap has always been kind of a little bit of a vulgar genre. 